you know, speaking of petty cash, let's talk about what's happening uh, with the AI race today. And I know that you were in India. You've been talking to the Indian government about what it intends to do as far as the semiconductor mission is concerned. We've finally gotten started. Speaking of putting things on track, do you believe we're on the fast track? Do you believe we're in the slow lane today? So we started off with a bang on semiconductor. So we uh, literally... My idea and suggestion that they followed was that we need to have a semiconductor fab fabrication facility and we don't need two nanometer. At least let's get started with 65, 40, 20. And if you can get to 14, you know, that's good enough because a lot of products can be built on that. And we should have one packaging mm. uh, capability. So to that extent, they have, by the way, six different programs going on at, at different stages of the thing. But I think we still need more, in my opinion. And somehow I feel uh, we are not as uh, aggressively pursuing it as we were initially because there was something new about it. Yeah. So maybe I need to go back and really push a little bit harder. What would you like to push harder, though? I think uh, what we need, of course, uh, this particular fund, we had an outlay of $30 billion. I think we consumed bulk of it. Mm -hmm. There's some more need to be done. And we are in the process of creating uh, what we call ISM 2.0, yeah. which is India SIM Commission 2.0, where we want to do things slightly differently now that we have learned what works and doesn't work and allocate perhaps even more money hmm. for some of the program. And particularly AI is very dear to me. And I look at AI as part of really deep tech. AI cannot exist without the underlying chip that we build, right? So I built the Pentium and 486 and 386, and now those are called Blackwells and mm. and uh, hoppers and things like that. Not much different. Just a different breed of things and different time frame. Mm. That is a very essential element of really uh, for India to succeed in AI race. And to succeed, right now we don't build those GPUs ourselves. Mm. Although I would love to see India make its own GPUs. And I'm personally quite engaged in that process of making sure we have that capability and capacity. As you know, uh, AI has become an arm race. Mm. And uh, you almost the, liken it to a nuclear arms race. That's right. It's uh, uh, even more specifically, the chip is the, the, the fuel, the uranium that's needed, which is hard to procure, and all the countries want to keep it themselves. And that is the GPUs. And that's why I think it's important that just like India finally broke out and created its own. Uh, nuclear bomb, the atom bomb, they need to really figure out a way to make this on GPU. 